Hi everyone, welcome back to the Clock Shop. This is Jim with JR Clocker on eBay. Today we're going to go over the replacement of bellows. And it's not that hard of a process. Um, these are pretty ratty, as you can see. Let me get them in picture here. And uh, pretty destroyed. So I'm going to just take and... Uh, snap them off there's a little glue back here I'm going to try to remove the glue because the last person to put them on used uh, look like some kind of rubber glue uh, let me get, get some here to take this off um, normally see they, they over glued it Normally, I would t just take it, throw this on a on a piece of sandpaper um, and get it off. But uh, this is a, a newer bellow. This is has uh, pl plastic up here. Uh, I may still run it on a little piece of sandpaper and rest of it off. We'll use Elmer's glue when we will go to put it back on. Okay, so uh, this orientation was uh, this way. Yeah. So, no, it was this way, sorry. <clears throat> the orientation was this way. So let's get one of our New, uh, uh, let me see here. Bellows out. Get rid of this. All right. Now I use uh, these clamps here. This will be plenty enough. Open them all the way up here. Um, now I just want to find the bellow I want. And we'll line it up here. I will take a little of our my sandpaper and get any other debris off of there. And that does a pretty good job. Okay. All right. So, again, I just like to line them up and make sure. All right. So, we're going to put that right like that. I'm going to get some Elmer's glue here. And then I have a... We go in and paint... Sure, got a good coverage there. There we go. I'll let it set here for a second. In the meantime, I get ready. Um, I put it. Square there and I really want this to be as square as I can make it a little tight, and so it's. All right, got a nice bead around the bottom, making it airtight when it closes here. I'm going to put this right there. And then later, I'll show you, I'll take, uh, take these off, reposition them. Uh, 
I can do that. I can show you that right now. Okay. And it's it's just a guess. This is not science, you know, real basic science here. Just eyeing it. I'll put a little dot there. Um, I can show you this. I put my finger right back here just to make sure. Uh, I have a little, uh, it's, it's actually, I think, a nail inside of this. And I just put little... little hole there for when this dries out then I'll uh, I'll be um, I'll be ready I'll, I'll poke the hole in I take my uh, my um, parallel pliers here let's take this out and this is very pointy so I'll be able to put it in pretty readily put it in I, I'll just do it right now I can do it uh all right you got the starter hole and now you have it in okay so we'll put that aside let it dry uh got some debris there get rid of that and i'll take this off here this one's not as bad not as glued up as bad so i will there's a little wood left here. <clears throat> so. I usually have a. Um, belt sander. That I just turn upside down. <laughs> and I turn it on and I just. You know rub, rub it on. This is just easier for this bench. Uh, I'm not going to pull but belt sander actually is doing other duties right now anyway all right so that's nice and cleaned off oh, look at that almost didn't see that let me get something to, this is uh old wood from the original case which is now i just found these and i'm like ah i can use these so but whatever these came out of they had been glued into uh, normally, this is a, probably a really much newer uh, clock than I'm used to. Uh, the good ones are, the nice ones are when this is wood. Um, the newer ones, uh, you know, they're made of plastic. So I will just smooth that over for... It doesn't really change the, the sound at all, um, just aesthetically. Okay. All right, and then this one will go on like this. And we'll paint that. We're done with the... Okay. Done with that sandpaper right now. Oh. All right. Let me just take a. I think these are clay tools, but I really like them, especially for, you know, putting out glue. Let me close my bottle of glue here. All right. Set this up. Oops. Can do things with. I need a third hand, really, but. I'm trying to do is to get it to touch and then once I get it to touch then I'll arrange it the way I want it to be arranged there we go It's 
what I want. I just want a nice, good contact all the way around. I'll put that aside. Now, I'll put this aside because really, as this hasn't been on here very long, but really, it's there now. And uh, I will tell you the new ones, uh, the brand new uh, bellows, uh, it takes a little breaking in to get them to, uh, it's like the paper's a little stiff. And then with the, with the bar on, it'll make it drop right. Anyway, we'll let this sit here for a couple minutes. Again, this is re really ready. It's it's not going anywhere. Um, it's still drying, so you just, you know. Uh, in the shop, we would probably, at this point, um, since this is ready to go, and it, if it just took a screw in, this one would take some glue, which <clears throat> I don't know. I'm, I'm used to having... Uh, having a screw through here. So I'd probably end up putting a little wood screw through the case um, and into the, the bellow, it's, uh, the tube itself. Um, but normally when we're working on clocks, you know, as soon as this is pretty set up, we're putting it back in the case, you know, uh, or putting it with the case anyway. So, uh, yeah, we don't usually do bellows until the movement's ready to go. And what I mean by ready to go is that, um, let me bring this down here. And uh, what I mean by ready to go is um, we would, uh, we will um, repair the movement test the movement on a movement stand, start testing the movement in the case, then do the bellows. The bellows are already out of the case, but we then do the bellows. The last thing we put in the case is the bellows. And so it's ready to go because it's a pain in the butt to say, oh no, it needs another more, you know, another adjustment. So we take it out of the case, uh, but we had to take the bellows out to do it. Every time you mess with the bellows, you take the chance of ripping the paper. And we only like to do things once, um, so we really uh, tr tend to uh, be very careful with bellows. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing a lot more videos like this in the future. And uh, little steps, you know, teaching you how you can do some of these repairs at home. Thanks for stopping by.